So a few years ago, the university built a new lecture theatre. And people said, what are you, crazy? Why would you use lectures to teach people? And that's where the flipped classroom comes in. What it actually means is that we're doing active engagement activities in the classroom, rather than having students sit passively and take lecture notes. We really now try to focus on a much more engaging and active learning by students. We're trying to get students to learn more, to learn more deeply, and to get engaged with the material by answering questions, by talking to each other, by harnessing the knowledge of their peers within the lecture theatre to really enhance the learning experience. So one of the things that we really want to do is to get students working together. Students are better when they work together because of what we could call peer learning. It's one thing for a student to think they understand a concept and perhaps could write about it, but it's another to be able to explain that concept to another student. Another benefit of peer learning is that once students have the opportunity to discuss a concept with their peers, they feel more confident to talk in front of other people and explain their views. It's not going to be just one case and it's not going to be just one act that, make, that gets these Indigenous rights out into the public. It's going to be a lot of work and a lot of people. It's kind of like forcing their own laws into our laws, which is really unconventional because their ideas of property and, and land and what their values are are completely different to ours. So forcing them to go by the Native Title Act and following other uh, subsequent case law, it kind of destroys their, their, their connection to the land. I think it's good having small group work, being able to talk to your peers and know that if you're wrong, they're not going to judge you as much as, say, a teacher might. But also, if you're right, they're going to let you know that they think that you're on the right track as well. I think there's one thing that's indisputable, that in the legal profession, group work is something that's going to be um, unavoidable. So I think getting an early start on it is definitely something that, that a law student find to be an advantage. I think it's good to get a few different perspectives, because people always have understandings that vary a bit and to kind of challenge your own and see what other people's are is quite helpful. It is of course important for us to tell students about the law and help them to understand the concepts, but we can do that on video. And so the students in my course sit and watch the videos before they come to the class. The idea is that the class time is special. It's actually really, really valuable. And it's where we do the most important things that we do as teachers. I think watching videos before you come to the lecture um, is quite helpful because it gives you um, a lot of understanding before the lecture so you can really focus on what's important during it. Watching it before the lecture, it kind of gives you um, an idea of what you're going to encounter in the lecture and it kind of gives you like, a background of the law and it's very detailed. Um, something which you can't get something in lectures because you fall asleep or you, you do something else, you can get a cup of tea and you can make a breeze out of it. So it's a bit more enjoyable that way. In the lectures we want to give students feedback. We don't want to wait until the end of the course when we mark the exams to find out whether students understand the concept. And so what we do is we ask students to get out their mobile phones and get out their laptops and tablets. We say get out and vote. Tell us how you would resolve particular questions and then let's give you some feedback. This is a great advantage for the students because they get to have a chat with each other, they get to see if they can apply something to the problem at hand and then they get to tell us what they think. And the beauty is you can hear the lecture theatre go quiet when we're about to stick the results up on the screen. So the students do want to know whether or not they've got the right answer. With regards to the in-lecture voting, I definitely think that's a really beneficial way of engaging the class, simply because we're such a large group and simply asking questions wouldn't get everybody's engagement, but that even engages the shyest people and the people who don't have the confidence to, to speak up in front of the rest of the group. So I definitely think that's beneficial. It helps you, you know, know if you're on the right track and you get the feedback instantly as opposed to at the end of the course in your exam. The idea behind active engagement is students will learn more and students will learn better. So yes, students will come out hopefully with better grades at the end of the course, but also students will come out understanding more and being able to apply the law in the real world.